although this statement may seem obvious to you, proving it is not that easy. Try it yourself first and then watch this video to see whether you have all ingredients. So I want to show that R2 equals the span over here. So I want to show that one set is equal to the other set. Well, we learned how to do this. If you want to show that the set V equals the set W, then you have to show two things. You have to show that V is a subset of W, so that means that all elements of V are also in W. That's this statement over here. So take any V in V and show that it is in W as well. And you also need to show that W is a subset of V. So that means that uh, every element of W is also in V. That's what it says over here. Take any W in W and then show that this W is in V as well. So in order to prove this statement over here, you have to prove those two inclusions. Let's start with the first one first. So given some V in R2, show that this V is also in the span. So uh, yeah, I'll have to show that the V is in the span here as well. So can we find scalars such that our V equals C1 times 1, 2 plus C2 times 1, 3? If we can find scalars C1 and C2 for any V, then we know that any V is in our span as well. Well, let's try. So we take any V in our true arbitrarily, and then we have to show that this V is also in the span of 1, 2 and 1, 3. So arbitrarily, so take for example V equals AB, where A and B can be any number. Then we have to find scalars, C1 and C2. We have to see whether this AB is a linear combination of 1, 2 and 1, 3. So we have to find the weights, C1 and C2, such that C1 times 1, 2 plus C2 times 1, 3 is exactly this factor AB. But we know how to solve it. We have a factor equation. We can form a matrix equation. We can form an augmented matrix or a linear system. So here we have our augmented matrix. And then we can try to uh, solve this. Subtract the first row twice from the second. And we are over here. And then we can get a zero over here by subtracting this row once over there. And then we have the following augmented matrix. And we see that we actually have a solution. We have 1 times C1 plus 0 times C2 equals 3A minus B. So C1 equals 3A minus B. And 0 times C1 plus 1 times C2 equals minus 2A plus B. So C2 equals minus 2A plus B. So regardless of what A and B you take, you can always find your C1 and C2, such as C1 times the first factor plus C2 times the second factor equals this AB, this factor V. So this means whichever V and R2 you take, you can always write it as a linear combination of 1, 2 and 1, 3, which means that this factor is always in the span of 1, 2 and 1, 3. So that proves the first implication that this span is in fact a subset, uh, that R2 is in fact a subset of the span. Now, you're on the way around. Now we have to show uh, that given any W in the span uh, of those two factors, you also have to show that this W is in R2. Now any W in the span can be written as constant times 1, 2 plus constant times 1, 3. And obviously this factor is also in R2. So uh, the uh, span is also a subset of R2. We know that R2 is a subset of the span. So together we know that both are satisfied. So R2 is in fact the span of 1, 2 and 1, 3.